Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to be showing you how to add a custom icon to your website in the new version 2 Cornerstone Builder. So I've gone ahead and added a section and I'm going to navigate to elements and add a social. And instead of it being called icons, they're now called social. Click and drag that in and we're going to notice that we have a social icon already applied. Let's go ahead and use our shortcut to navigate to the graphic. And instead of a font awesome icon, let's use an image. Let's go ahead and add a new image right here in the primary graphic image. And I'm going to go ahead and click and drag it a graphic that I already have. And I'm going to insert that into the post. So as you can see, I've got this graphic. And it looks a little weird because we don't have a couple of settings in place. So let's go back up to the setup section. And we're going to go ahead and make this width auto and the height auto. Let's go ahead and get rid of this border and the border radius underneath of the design. Set this to zero. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of this shadow because I don't want that shadow. And I want to go ahead and make sure that the background is transparent. Don't want anything in the background. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure that we are good to go with the height and the width. Let's make sure our border radius is good, otherwise it would look something a little wonky. Box shadow is good. Perfect. So now we have our complete social icon set up. Now there's different things that we're able to do with this. We can go ahead and add a secondary graphic image. So when you hover over top of it, it's a different icon. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and add. And we're going to go ahead and just add this icon. So now that when I hover over top of it, you see that it changes. Just like that. There's a couple of different options that you have with the margins. And you can actually add an interaction. So we can scale it down. You see the you see the difference to when you actually hover over top of it, and we can do scale up. Uh, and there's a flip X and flip flip Y, so basically it just flips side to side, and it'll flip up and down. Different options that we have. We can also add text to it if we want to. Um, so this is text. We can add it just like that. And we'll go ahead and just, this is what we can make this icon look like. So maybe we want the text to be at the bottom. We can go ahead and choose the column setup. So this is kind of like a, almost like a promo item that we've done before. And now we can actually add a link to it. So if we want this to be a mail link or a telephone link, we can go ahead and add either one of those. For the text options, we have a few options where we can type in a little bit more text and then we also have a secondary text option. So it's a little bit of a smaller text and then we'll have all of our different options right here so we can center the primary, we can center the secondary um, and just make it look a little bit more neat. So there are a bunch of different options that you can do for this and you can always navigate to, with them up here and then you can always hide and show on different screens here. It's one of those things I was talking about in one of my previous videos. So there's a bunch of different options that we actually have. Um, and it's so great to be able to do all of this. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys at the next one. Thanks.